What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to bring you some pretty big updates for Terra Luna Classic right now. The price still sitting around that kind of 10, 90, 1100 range, but there is some big news, whether it be UST repegs, whether it be L1 Task Force team, and much, much more. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything going on with Terra Luna Classic, as well as the wider cryptocurrency market. And let's dive straight into this video. So uh, we'll come back and take a look at the price, but you can see we are in a marginal uptrend, 1.49% up on the day, hovering around that 1093, that 1100 mark. But the signals are starting to flip in our favor. I've talked about this for about three or four days now, where I think we're going to see a move up in Terra Luna Classic. Now, we did obviously see this massive dump here. It was cryptocurrency wide. We expected 320 million put into the market from Mt. Gox, from the government. It didn't all happen. It was all a bit of a false narrative, but we saw a massive dump in the market, whether that was BTC, Ethereum. But actually, before that, we were trending up in a really nice direction. We pushed up into the 11.4 range for Terra Luna Classic before that big dump off. But what's going on with Terra Luna Classic that you need to be aware of? Well, exciting news for the L1 Task Force team. They have filled their senior Cosmos developer role that obviously was left by Tobias leaving the plan. It says our senior developer was one of the original developers of Cosmos, SDK, and IBC, and has extensive l1 blockchain experience now the only couple of bits i'm a bit disappointed with is you know we don't know who it's going to be it says our senior cosmos developers requested not to join social media i'm not too disappointed with that but it would be nice to know exactly who it is however he is fully doxxed to the l1 team as well as tgf and we're excited for this new addition to our team looking forward to bringing the blockchain to parity and completing q2 and any other exciting development opportunities are mandated by the community through governance i.e q3 and beyond we do need to see volume however Again, I've talked about this on a number of videos where they have to bring something that either increases burns or increases the price. And I think that way we're going to see some benefits. It will load the community pool up. We'll still continue to fund into Q3. And I think that is where we want to see this, you know, if it's an extensive L1 blockchain experience, has supported an SDK and IBC. Okay, let's land something that fundamentally supports a growth in terms of price and a growth in terms of Terra Luna Classic Burnt. They are the two key fundamentals of how you bring people in that are either new to crypto or new to Terra Luna Classic or want to get into it right now. We can categorically say people have lost a little bit of faith in US, uh, in, sorry, in, in Terra Luna Classic. And I'll tell you why, because we still see votes like this. But no confidence for the current L1 team, but let's vote on a new team to come in and pay them some more money. It's, I'm not hating on anyone here. I am not hating on anyone, but it does frustrate me that we seem to kind of get some level of traction and then something comes in and tries to derail it. The community have voted on the L1 team. So let's support the L1 team in what they're doing. When they don't deliver, then people will vote no. And I think that's just really important. I'm not going to go through this full proposal. You can come and have a look at it. But again, it's a vote of no confidence in the current L1 team. So let's just think about this for one second. If this proposal goes through and we therefore remove the current L1 team, Okay, what happens to the $130,000 you just paid for them? Where, where's that going? Do you think they're just going to give it back? If it's a community vote that we vote them out, then they'll just keep hold of the money. It, it's kind of crazy to me that we see these votes and we see these proposals rather than, well, let's try and support the ecosystem. Let's try and build on it. Let's try and understand why. Why do you feel like that? And if you feel like that, why does you know 53% of the community not feel like that that voted through? I think it's just a bit crazy that we see you know a potential step forward and then people want to try and drag it back. Again, not hitting on them. It just frustrates me a little bit. But what else have we got coming in terms of governance proposal? Well, the USTC incremental repeg. So this is a very, very interesting one and we want to see this pass. Now, obviously abstain, as you've probably heard on many other YouTube channels, has nothing to do with uh, the voting power. It's fundamentally the yes versus the no's with veto. And ultimately this is going to pass. It has another two days. So again, it's important that people understand what it is. I've done a full review of exactly what this is, but this is a systematic structured way that we bring USTC back to a dollar. Now, I've talked about USTC as being the greatest decentralized stablecoin that we could add. It has to have a number of fail safes in it. It has to have a number of uh, fundamental um issues that cannot be depegged. This is one of the biggest confidence drivers or equally this could be one of the things that really just finished Terra Luna Classic off. If we land this with real real deliberation then we could be in for some very exciting news. But currently this is going to pass. I'm excited to see how this kind of builds out and what this kind of fundamentally does. But like I said the price currently holding that looks like the nine day about to flip bullish which would be a good sign. The market's holding up. Market looks pretty green right now but a couple of big things there for Terra Luna 
Classic. And I think a couple of big things that look pretty bullish for me. Like I said, we always want to see the price move up. We have the Binance Burns coming within the next three or four days. I'll keep you updated on exactly what's going on with that. But let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of all this vote in no confidence? Who do you trust? Terra Rebels, L1 team. I think the new vote are the Terra Allies. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of all these proposals? Do you think we just need to crack on? and see where we get to. But as ever, thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you so much for all your support. Still believe in Terra Luna Classic. I still have my Terra Luna Classic staked. As if you join my live streams, 4 p.m. Eastern, we'll talk about that every single day. But leave a like on the video. That's how you can support the channel. That's how you support these videos. That's how we get the word out about Terra Luna Classic. And as ever, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.